T-Test in SAS Part 2. So the, here we're going to learn how to do two sample T-Tests. I've already read it in the Cycler CPK data set. Uh, you can see in previous videos on how to read data in. It's sitting in my work directory, so we're going to get started. We're going to use PROC T-Test again. Oh, i got to make sure that I actually spell it correctly. T-Test. My data in this case is my Cycler data. And here, I'm going to put in a class statement, this groupings that I want to check. And here, I'm just going to put in gender because this is actually in my data set, which we'll look at here real quick. If I look at the data set, I see subject, age, gender, and I have these CPK measurements. So what I'm going to do is I want to see if CPK1 varies across gender. So I have gender. This is what I'm looking to see if it varies across. And my variable of interest is CPK1. All right, and we're just going to run this just like it is and see what happens. So when I run this, I get some output. Notice I now get two QQ plots, one for one population, one for the other population. It's labeled female for this one and male for this one. Uh, I get two histograms, two kernel density estimates, two normal estimates. I get two box plots here. And more importantly, I get lots of information here, a lot of information. So I get the means, the difference in the means, the means again, the confidence intervals. It gives me the pooled and uh, the Satterthwaite approach. And more importantly, here we get the uh, p-values out for what we're interested in. So here we have pooled and we have Satterthwaite. And this is on the means. So it's checking to see if the means are the same or different. And in this case, it's balanced, so both of these come out the same. But notice the p-value is quite small, so in many cases, this would be rejected to say that they are the same, because that's the null hypothesis. And another thing that usually people worry about, uh, with the use satterth weight, it's not so much, but if you're using the pooled variance, often you are interested in the equality of variances, and this is a test for it, and you can see the p-value is quite high as well. So since the p-value is quite high, uh, we're not worried about the variances uh, being unequal in this case, but they, they seem to be fine. All right, so we have this p-value here, so now we can do hypothesis tests on difference in means using PROC t-test. Okay, so let's move on to the next video and figure out how to do a paired t-test.